and we're live. Like a few days ago, like I haven't even been able to work out this week because I had because of this fucking weather. I had a pretty severe pipe burst in my basement and flooded my whole basement. Bunch of fucking disaster. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good bit, good bit of time to fix and everything. The last couple of days, people have been tearing stuff out and carrying it. Everybody was removing a bunch of drywall. They removed an entire ceiling from a room like down there. And like they plugged in like 12 industrial strength dehumidifiers. And like, even in my head, I am not an electrician. Like I walked down there and saw, and I'm like, this is dangerous. Like there should not be like nine of these to an outlet. And like, maybe with like, as I'm thinking that it bursts a circuit and shuts down, they've just left. And so then I have to go and I don't know anything about that. And I'm fucking around with the breakers and like trying to run on cords and stuff down there. I have to leave those right. It is. I, it sounds like an airplane's taking off underneath me right now. It is so goddamn. They're cold running cord. right now. They're running right now. They it's have been to run two days. From, yeah. It's been oh. two days. A guy came out and checked today and was like, the moisture meter is way too high. We got to keep them running. And so it'll be like 72 hours at the time yep. tomorrow. They come to check. It is so fucking loud in my house. It is <laughs> 12 of these. And the, the way it is, you know, my stairs just go down into the, the couple basement rooms I have. And I can't close those doors. I have to leave them open for some can, air circulation thing. Can I interrupt you? Did we yeah. set this up or am I create? Do, do people know that a pipe burst in your basement two days ago? Did we say that out loud? I, yeah. I said that to, to begin. Yeah. The, oh, just okay. that it, it burst. Basically, uh, the guy and, just showed me a picture of the pipe and was like, ah, here's the problem. And it was like a pipe totally shorn into just pouring stuff. And uh, so I, I, I think it had only you, been going for a couple hours when I caught it. Thank God. But a couple hours is horrible. Because it's enough time to ruin it's, everything. That, but it yeah. was, it's a couple thousand gallons at that point. Like, like, like oh yeah, I've dealt with this so many times. Like, like my dad's farm. Like, it's been stressing me out, dude. I'm sorry. My dad's farm and those poultry houses. There's like, I don't want to exaggerate. So let me quickly do the math in my head. It's five, ten, fifteen, twenty times six, um, five hundred, two thousand, six, six times two thousand is twelve thousand. Everyone's being very respectful. It's Kyle two and a half happen. miles of PVC. Okay. It's two and a half miles of indoor wow. PVC. Okay. And a lot of it is C PVC. And I'm not going to get into the details of the difference, but it gets brittle over time. And so like that shit will just like snap and break. And there's always like strangers in there working who, who are like rough with your equipment that are higher that it, it, i won't go into it but there's people in there fucking working who don't give a fuck if they break something and you never know if they've cracked a thing and it's just almost about to fall apart and then like three weeks later pop and so so many floods i've seen in in indoors like this like is the first tens like ten thousand gallons and it sucks that it was in my fucking house but like it like just by happenstance at like 2 p.m. I happen to be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to check downstairs if I have something. I went down there and I'm in my unfinished area. I open it and there's just water fucking all over the place. Not covered because it's a very, very large unfinished area. But it's like there's enough water in the lower leveling parts that I could go splash around like if I wanted to. And like, you know, where like you kick a really deep puddle and like you feel the amount of inertia of the water you're moving. And it's spilling over the sides of your boot, too. Like it's that kind of amount. not good. And I'm like, ah. Oh, well, this is this is bad news. And so I I go to the finished part of my basement and I'm like, hopefully, you know, the finished part that has, you know, drywall and fucking my TV, my pool table, my sectional, all my shit. Maybe that's OK. And I walk in and it's like, you ever seen the movie like The Money Trap? Or like it, it looked like there was there was water pouring out of all the light fixtures. There was a center like uh, there was a center area where like the, the vent was to like heat it. And like, it was just one of the pouring out of that and i just was like oh sprinted turn around turn the water off run up stairs grab a bunch of buckets start putting it under all of these light fixtures i call around uh to five or six different plumbing emergency companies it's minus four degrees in st louis at the time and so every one of them is like yeah we don't have any plumbers everybody's doing exactly what you're calling to do eventually i get through to someone they come out and start getting moving but like it was uh, it, it's gonna take so much fucking time for them to fix all this shit just a pain in the ass so what, at least you have insurance, insurance though can you imagine yeah, if this weren't insured because i i don't know if they've given you an estimate but i just based on what you've described i think you've got like 15 to twenty thousand dollars for the damages I, I would guess at least like probably around 15 i want so, a yeah. twitch donation a goal day. where you're willing to walk downstairs and show off the damage <laughs> 
You should do yeah, that for a thousand dollars. For a thousand dollars, I will go downstairs with my laptop and I will show everything. I, uh, some someone would like be like uh, using the the floor plan of his house. Here's his address. Exactly. <laughs> right, oh, right, right. That. Yeah. That's, yeah. Would, uh, that yeah. is a risk. So the way I would infiltrate Taylor's home for murder is <laughs> all right. Yeah. I do see the flaws in these. You can ideas. see here once you get him in this pool room, there's no escape. There's no escape. <laughs> one way in, one way out. Classic, <laughs> classic flaw. It would go yeah. towards the deductible, though. I, I had never seen like that level of damage so fast. We're like, with it felt, it felt like the time from me turning off the water, running upstairs, grabbing the buckets, and then coming back down, like pieces of the field ceiling, it just started like just bowing out at the, the areas where they put the drywall together or the ceiling together, whatever. So fucking pain in the ass. You've said yeah, that I, your house is very loud. And I, in my head, all the humidifiers are in the basement. Am I right? Yeah. So I, I, I live in a ranch style house. So mm -hmm. like large upper floor and then basement, there's not two stories. And so like over on Wilk street, <laughs> yeah, on, Wilk, on Wilk street in St. Louis. And, uh, so basically like my, my living room, you come into my house, it's an open like feel to it. And you, you know, you go down the stairs and immediately a left, you're in my finished area, right? You're in my gym, unfinished area where I have my hockey shooting stuff. Now, because it's just an open stairway down there and both those doors have to be open and in each of those rooms, there's six industrial sized dehumidifiers. I, I can hear it right now. I can hear the thrall, the right now through the wall, through the doors, down the stairs. You, I, I can I was sitting with my 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 ex-girlfriend on the couch last night trying to watch <laughs> I love something. that. Yeah, we were trying to watch something and she was like, I can't handle this. It is so loud in here. And, and something else that it did, it's dehumidifying the whole house. So I got a nosebleed this morning. Wow. Actually, it's so dry in here and it's still not doing anything. Uh, all my carpet was destroyed. There was one area of my carpet that like matched my stairs. And I was like, do you think we'll be able to save this like bottom patch so I don't have to try and match carpet? And the guy's like, I'll do my best, bro. And then the guy came out today and I asked him about it and was like, there is, I don't know who told you this was salvageable. Uh, probably the guy who comes on day one and gets your hopes up. <laughs> I'm day two guy. I'm real deal guy. I'm oh, that was high you. hopes Harry. He probably <laughs> told you you weren't going to need new new walls too, didn't he? <laughs> I, I, had, uh, I, had, I had like a big St. Louis Blues fat head that I put up two weeks ago that my dad got me for Christmas. Like, I'll, I'll finally put that up by the pool table. And like, the guy was like cutting out all the pieces of drywall and he like leaves that up there. And he's like, we'll see if we can, we'll see if we can salvage this. And I'm like, I'm like, what are you, it's, it's done. It's done. What like, is a fat even, head? Like, so it's like a big, like St. Louis Blues logo that sticks there on the wall or you can get them of different sports teams. They look yeah, nice. Every sports up team. It's room. a big every sticker you put on a wall. Big giant sticker. Yeah. That, yeah. that goes on the wall. Usually in like a popular. Yeah. yeah, very popular. And just the way this guy was like sawing around it. And it's like, dude, it, first Correct. of all, if I think I'm pretty sure if I have to peel this off, I have to throw it away anyway. Second of all, it that fat head is not going to provide the structural support needed to keep this wall in place. Like just so I, I have the this side of ripping it all out and replace it is what I say. I have this thing, Taylor, like my welder has a very loud sound to it. I bet it's not too far from the humidifier. And it just increases my stress level. Like it, it, I don't, everything about it running makes me like, I don't, anxiety is not the right term, but it's just, it, it weighs on me. I hate it. And the second I flip that switch off, it's like, it's relaxation. Yeah. yeah. Does that happen? Are those humidifiers doing that to you? They're are stressing you me out, man. Yeah. They, they are so goddamn loud. I could hear them when I was trying to sleep last night. It's, it, it is. It's like you're, it's like the sound of a jet beginning to, turn on just down there i can fucking hear it and i'm gonna go out and try and watch an episode of the expanse after this and i won't be able to focus because i'll be annoyed and then i'll overeat <laughs> uh, you guys yeah, i had the exact same thing happen my, my basement flooded and the the all of the flooring had to be ripped up it was like five I don't even remember how much the flooring cost to begin with, but it was hardwood flooring. It was if you watch the the F, the boot camp I did with Wings, that that hardwood floor that he's being like pulled that w he's pulling Jeremy across, like that all had to be taken up, and that that hardwood was glued down to concrete. So like <laughs> these two guys had to run like these giant like scrapers to like get under it and then prize it up, 
And every time they prized, the boards would just splinter into all these. They, they would they wouldn't come up in like even sheets because like they they were so glued mm-hmm. down. They were just splintering up. It it was thousands of dollars just to get that done, and then running the dehumidifier for a long time, like a whole week. And I'd go down there like every couple of hours and dump out you know three or four gallons of water. It was just shocking how fast it yeah. was pulling moisture out of the air. Yeah, well, I believe they're drying it out, but like even like the area of carpet, it's dried out. Now it's just like crispy and rotten. Yeah, like, it's ruined. Not, yeah, it, it's destroyed. So, so do you have an ETA on how much longer they're going to run? Uh, the guy who came out today was like, we're going to run it at least until tomorrow afternoon. And oh, so okay. like, it's not forever like that. No, it, at that point, it'll just be like three straight days of it, which is annoying. But I've spent a lot of time in both and like I in Colorado, when I'm like in the shower and I like blow my nose or whatever, there'll be like a tiny bit of blood. Mm-hmm. But like in in Vegas, it's like, oh God, oh, did I just have a period out of my fucking skull? <laughs> oh, just Dude, every I blew time. so much blood out of my nose this morning, living in this arid house from these twelve dehumidifiers, sucking all the moisture out of my entire home. Fucking, I'm so tired of this. It's so loud. It's so loud in here. When I was trying to like <laughs> fix stuff, I like walked out to grab another water earlier when I got booted from the show because Discord stopped working and just greeted. I opened that door and it's the entire fucking floor of the house. It's God, so stressful, it's Taylor. I think you're going to have to postpone your wedding. It's I just, think I'm going to have to. You don't want to get started in a wet house. This is a bad foundation for a future. Let's just push it back a couple years. Just to <laughs> push win it back until this room is finished I and office. I have my dream house. After. Yeah. <laughs> Let's wait till uh, every financial goal of mine is next. Make your ex-girlfriend I, your girlfriend again. Yeah. <laughs> make, make some hats. You know, like I hate to be like a Debbie Downer here, but whatever it takes for you to hide this water damage from the next person who purchases that home, you should get that done. Like if it costs a little, if they're like, yeah, we, your insurance covers this, this, and that. I mean, you'll be able to tell that this got a little wet. Ah, 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 ah. no 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 we are covering up a crime scene here all right <laughs> no one should ever know that these boards were moist right like yeah. like whenever i sold my last house and we had had like a flood on the first on the like main floor that came down into the basement mm-hmm. i was like we got to get this fixed all the drywall fixed like yeah. like 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 no, no 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 you can't leave that exposed on the corner and they were like well this is where your hot water heater is. Nobody's going to ever see the edge of this drywall. I'm like, fix it. Everything has to be covered. A hundred percent. Like a home inspector needs mm-hmm. to come mm-hmm. here and have no idea that this ever fucking happened. Well, like, I'm erring like, on the side of just having them tear absolutely everything out because even the stuff they were trying to salvage with the dehumidifiers, it's like, I don't trust that that actually did enough to, to, to de demoisten the inside of that drywall. Wood and is like, fine. Drywall you cannot trust Dude, and a bunch of my mold. insulation a bunch of my insulation got fucked and apparently when insulation gets nope. wet it's like there's no you, you you just have to get rid of that and replace it insulation drywall um particle board uh the oh, only thing that's carpet carpet anything soft that's all gotta go fucking two by sixes pressure treated lumber that's fine that's you're not the, throwing the that back in. like you know like the skirt kind of area on the back of a like the corner part of a sectional couch yeah like in that back corner, like that, whole, like I was mostly just feeling initially, like just the tops to see like no, nothing had dripped on them from the ceiling. And that was mostly okay. But then like, as they'd moved them around, like that whole back area near the corner where it was the worst is just fucking waterlogged. And I, I really hope that that's salvageable because I liked, I like that fucking sectional, but it, we'll see. God damn it. It's always fucking something, man. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that fucking sucks. Yeah, I, really I, I wonder great. if, Registry. I wonder if like it's something that the previous home inspector missed and therefore would be liable for because uh, uh, I think that that is it's probably come and gone any without getting into usually there's like a year or two like 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 without getting into specifics I know someone whose home inspector missed a leaky roof and uh, they purchased the home and not, and then the roof leaked and it stained the drywall and, and, and the roof on the interior like with the ceilings like mm-hmm. stained and they had to cover all of that like like they it was i have like, no idea who even inspected my house before i bought it you've got the paperwork i bet it's all in a shoe box somewhere yeah it's it's over it's in that folder box somewhere yeah it's like, right there where 
Yeah, let me go grab it. You guys can look. Yeah. <laughs> now you can have a See here, now, section that, three. What's that, Dick? You've, you've got a wife now. That's that's her job. Like, Honey, I need my documents. I need <laughs> the section contract right now. That's their that's woman's Olympics is filing paperwork and producing <laughs> paperwork as quickly as possible. That's what uh, I can't wait to have her take full control of. I don't want to deal with all these I papers. I've got I've got big ideas. Things are cooking. I can't deal with the little pitter patter of daily life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you take care of it. None of this is true. <laughs> <laughs>